Hey guys, so we're back out in the shop today. We finished up our flood coolant and now I want to start work on my getting rid of this four-way tool post and replacing it with a quick change tool post to allow for easier tool changes. Now the four-way tool post compound rest what I wanted to do was just replace it basically and put a solid steel riser. So what I had to do was figure out the distance between the top of the compound uh, and the center line of the chuck or the top of the tool here. So once I did that <clears throat> uh, I came up with about two and nine sixteenths. So I wanted to get something to kind of match that. But now the quick change tool post is a little different because you have the ability to adjust the height of the tool with ease. And that's what makes these so popular other than the fact that you can easily swap out your tools. So I just have to determine the height of my cutting tool in reference to the height of the quick chain of uh, the four-way tool post. So let's see. So the bottom of the compound to the bottom of the four-way tool post is about two and eleven sixteenths. So after doing all the measurements. I came up with a two inch riser and that gives me the ability to be able to lower my tool all the way down if my tools in the quick change tool post and it's all the way down at the bottom then that gives me a height of about two and seven sixteenths. So I, just in case I get in a situation where I have to make a special tool and it needs to sit lower than uh, your standard carbide tools, I'll have the ability to move that. I didn't want this to be too tall and then not have the uh, flexibility of moving and lowering the tool down. So basically it's gonna sit on here like so. And then you'll just slide your quick change tool post down. It's a pretty straightforward project. It's just, it's just a riser block. I was lucky enough to find this piece of steel on eBay. And basically what I've got is a bar end. It's where they, you know, have a big long bar of steel stock and they cut it off to whatever length they need. And this is basically the leftover. And that's great for me because it's exactly the size I need. So what I'm looking for was a, a two inch riser and something that was two and a half inches wide, which is, this fits the bill. Now it's a little bit longer than I needed. Uh, I was looking for something around four and three quarters, but this is a little bit longer, but that's okay. I can kind of clean this end up and the other end as well. Okay, so the distance across the compound slide is 120 millimeters. The distance between the centers of the two holes, which are M8 by 1.25, distance between centers is 100 millimeters. The distance between the center line of the hole and the front edge of the compound is 48 millimeters. So that pretty much is the layout of the compound slide. Let's take a look at a drawing of the riser using 360. So now let's take a look at the drawing for the riser. So you can see it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we just have our two mounting holes which are going to be countersunk and then our one hole to mount the quick change tool post. Now the threads for the quick change tool post are M14 
by 1.5. Luckily for me, this bar end stock is pretty flat and pretty square. And it's within a thousand, so I'm not going to do any facing. I'm just going to clean the ends up. Now, because it is a bar end, it's kind of pinched at the end. But I'm going to put it on the side I'm not using, so I think that should be just fine. And most of that will come up, come out when I clean the end of it off. All right, so let's get started and get this riser block made. So we finished up our tool post riser block and uh, again the overall thickness was two inches it's two and a quarter inches wide and about four and three quarter inches so I think it turned out real good uh, I did have to turn down the heads a little bit on the bolts so that they'll fit in my half inch hole uh, otherwise I would just have to get a bigger drill bit and which is easier just to turn it down. I've got them recessed about an eighth of an inch. And again, this is tapped uh, M14 by 1.5. It's got about a half of an inch of threads here. Uh, I wish it had a little more, but it seems to be okay. I think it'll be fine. Uh, of course, I'm going to put some blue thread lock on here to secure it now the quick change tool post the hole is not quite directly in the center and I saw where someone had posted on instructables they had a C6 uh, SIG C6 lathe it's a, I think it's a 10 by 22 as well and so what they did is they made their hole uh, one inch and one inch and they're using the same tool post so I kind of looked to see why would why they did that because the distance uh, is two and a half by two and a half but then if you measure uh, from this edge here to the center line you get one inch and if you measure this line here to the center line you get one inch so I guess they were going off these flats here one inch one inch so that would put their post there like so and I'm going off the dovetail and the reason being is if you go off the flat then You've got this whole dovetail area just hanging off. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. You have this dovetail area hanging off. And I thought, well, why not just give it that extra little support there? Um, so I decided to go this route. And again, I don't think there's a right and a wrong way. Uh, if there's a, a technical what reason why, then uh, please feel free to comment on that. Uh, the adjustment is almost at the very bottom as it is now. So uh, having it out, you could let it slide past the front, but you really don't have any more room. So I went this way, uh, this route. Uh, you can go either way I guess now all we got to do now is just get this stud lock tighted and uh, get it mounted on the lathe so let me do that and uh, we'll see how she looks Well, that wraps up our quick change tool post install um, the riser worked out just great. It's just the right height. It's perfect. Uh, when I put my tools on the center line, get it up here where I can show you. When I 
get it on the center line and get the uh, post in there. It's uh, not quite all the way down. It's about oh about an eighth of an inch or so, which is good. So if I have a say a five inch tool, five eighths inch tool, I should be able to use that. Uh, these holders, uh, if I get a holder that's a little bit bigger, then I'll be able to use that. And I'll be able to lower it just enough to hopefully get that in there. One thing that I realized really quick is uh, you don't have enough tool holders. So this uh, boring bar, you can take the sleeve out here and it fit, it'll fit a TTS holder. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I can drill. And I've got basically three holders with the set that I bought for the, uh, the SARS quick change tool post. It came with a uh, number one, a number two, a number four, a number seven. Uh, and that's pretty much it. A knurling, a parting, and just a regular, and then one with the little V groove notch cut in it for like a holding a drill bit or something and then the boring head so uh, I got a few more of these I gotta get ordered um, so that I can get some more tooling but yeah it turned out really good um, it's just the right height um, I don't think I could have went with the BXA it would have just been probably I mean I could have made it work if I would have got a smaller riser but this is plenty big and sturdy uh, and stable I think for the G0602. So that wraps up the quick change tool post riser video. Uh, if you want a drawing or any information, uh, just get in contact with me and I'll get that sent out to you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.